Hey guys, I hope you are ready for a long and ridiculous video because we are going way outside the comfort zone on this one. So about a week or so ago, people started DMing me links to a video clip. And in this video clip, there were some guys that attempted to do pendulum painting on a car. Now, if you don't know what pendulum painting is, it's essentially you have your surface that you're painting on, and that's a flat surface usually, and then you have a container of paint that has a hole in the bottom that's continuously leaking paint out. That container of paint is attached by a string to something fixed above it, and the idea is you swing that container of paint while it's releasing paint, and as it swings back and forth and moves around, it creates really cool patterns and shapes. I think this is a horrible idea. But when I get a high volume of requests to do something, I always try to put some effort behind it. So Gabe and I have got this thing rigged up and it's gonna be a disaster, but we're gonna try it. Let me show you exactly what we're working with. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Awesome. Okay, so quick disclaimer. We haven't practiced this. We have barely spent any time planning this out and it's, it's probably not gonna go well. So I am not suggesting that this car, we've got the Mustang here, it's got a black plastic base on it. I am not suggesting that this car is gonna look good at the end. It's all about trying something different and having fun. At the end of the day, the paints that we use, I'm sure you know, are peelable. So no matter how good or bad it looks, we can peel it off and go back to normal like nothing ever happened. So we've got over here some gallons of Plasti Dip. Now these are not just straight regular gallons of Plasti Dip. We have added extra tint to each gallon because as the product flows onto the car, it's only really gonna get one pass and we wanna make sure we have full coverage over the black with each pass. So we've got electric lime green, pink, uh, orange, we've got red, and we've got intense teal. And that way we have some bright colors to go over the black base. Now, as far as our, our rig here, we have got a ladder hooked up to some rope, which is coming off of this pipe that goes across the top of our paint booth. Coming down from that pipe, we have this little number. We've got a large socket here to add some weight and keep some weight on the pendulum even when the paint is getting low. And then we've got the top of a SADA uh, paint cup here. And it's got some threads on the inside. So what we're gonna be able to attach to that is one of these, a paint cup. And it's actually already got a hole in the bottom. We had to bore that out a little bit bigger just to make sure it flows. So we're gonna fill this up with a color, screw it onto the bottom of this here, and essentially let go and send it. And whatever happens, happens. So what color do you wanna try first? That's one question. Something bright, obviously. Orange. orange or electric lime, maybe? All right, so what we're gonna do is Exactly what I said. We're going to fill up the cup. You'll see. All right, guys, round one is done. The electric lime green is down, and we already learned a ton right off the bat. First thing we learned is you don't really need to know what you're doing in order to get cool patterns and designs. We've also learned that the size of the hole obviously plays a huge role in the design because the flow rate is going to dictate how thick 
your lines are, which is also going to dictate, I think, how intricate your patterns are going to get. So we want to try again. We're going to re-rig over the hood this time, and we're going to go with another color. And on this color, I think I'm going to do a smaller hole. See if we can get thinner lines and a more intricate pattern. All right, round two is complete, and this is actually getting pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. It's really cool to see how these designs come out, how evenly spaced everything is, and just letting gravity do the work for us. So we got one more spot that we wanna do. We got the back area over here, the trunk, and we're just gonna let it completely overlap the trunk. What color do you wanna do though? We got teal, we got pink, uh, and red. Teal or pink would be my pick. I think I'll go teal. Teal? All right, we're gonna do intense teal. Last round, see how it goes. Round three's over, we got the teal down. And again, really cool. Like I'm just so happy with not only how this is coming out, but the fact that we get ideas like this from you guys. This is something we never would have done before, like never. And we get the ideas from you guys and we reluctantly do most of them and we're always glad we did because this was a ton of fun. Now, we're done. We got the orange up front, we got the green on top and then the teal in the back. There's no way physically to do pendulum art on the side of a car, obviously, but we did get some kind of nice runs down the side of the car and the teal kind of slapped, for lack of better words, the back of the car, which gave us a great design back there too. So all in all, very happy with this project. Now, if you want to dip your own car, click right up here. It'll bring you to our car kits. We have tons of colors to choose from. If you were interested in pendulum art or you're interested now, 
whether it's on your car or on some canvas or some paper, I would encourage you to try it. It's a lot of fun. It's really difficult to mess up. I mean, there's no right way to do it. So if you wanna play with it, I encourage you to play with it. It's a ton of fun. If you have any questions about dipping, you know what to do. Chat with us directly on dipyourcar.com or call in. We'd love to talk to you guys about your projects. Thank you guys so much for watching and especially subscribing to our channel. It's Fonzie. Hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I'll see you on the next video.